everybody, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. So I'm going to suggest a few feminine fragrances that are sexy and romantic that you can rock on that special day, okay? Whether you're going to wear them or you're going to get them for your lady, your significant other. So hopefully it'll get there in time. All right, number one, whore. You know, I don't know what the name of the brand is behind this. I know the name of this fragrance is whore. But this was given to me by the woman that created the fragrance and her name is Liara Rue. Shout out Liara if you're watching this. But this is a cherry fragrance. It smells like cherry. There's also some tonka bean in this scent and some leather as well. Very much, is it, what is it, BDSM type of vibes if you're interested in that. So interesting, I guess, interesting recommendation for Valentine's Day. But honestly, it, it does smell great and it's a little bit bold and it's definitely in your face and you're definitely going to have a fantastic night when you wear this fragrance, okay? Whore! And by the way, I'm gonna put all the names of the fragrances and the links in the description for the discount sites if you're trying to compare or pick up a bottle, all right? The next one is, oof, the one on my wrist that I'm testing, it's called Blouse by YSL and it's super, super sexy to me, okay? That fragrance, Kind of smells like lychee, which is a juicy, fruity note. If you haven't tried lychee or even smelled lychee, think of, it's not a fruit, it's not citrusy and sour like lemons, but think of a sweet type of fruit, similar to like a peach, you know what I mean? So it smells like lychee and then there's some florals, but that scent is such a hot girl fragrance. My eyes rolled back when I first smelled that. I was like, oh my God, I am in love with this fragrance. It's just so, so attractive. If you like things like Delina by Parfums de Marly and Very Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, I think you're gonna enjoy Blouse. Now, the downside with Blouse is the performance. So I get, I got around six hours with the fragrance before I really have to smell. It's still on my skin, so it lasts over six hours, but it's definitely one now that I have to put closer. But the past few, no, like, in the beginning, like the first couple hours, it projected pretty nicely. I smelt it all over my scent bubble. Even in the fourth, fifth hour, it was still like, I could slightly smell it. And if you're cuddling, you're getting intimate, this is definitely a scent that's gonna be perfect for that. But yeah, don't think you're getting a long lasting beast with that fragrance, okay? Number four, number three, number three, Grand Soir by MFK, Amber Vanilla Scent long lasting, easily over eight hours if you're gonna be out all day. And if it's gonna be cold during Valentine's Day for you, it's gonna be gloomy, cloudy, throw this thing on, and it's gonna be just like a big, warm hug. I think that this, like this fragrance to me is romantic. It's just, it makes you smile. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you feel safe when you smell this fragrance. Oh, yeah, I love this thing. Not really much to say about it. Oh yeah, one thing that I should mention is that even though it's an amber vanilla fragrance and you think it might be too dense, it definitely projects really, really well. So you don't have to worry about it always being under your nose and getting sick of the fragrance. I accidentally did 15 sprays of this scent. I know you're like, what the fuck, accidentally? It was because I was doing a scent of the day video and I messed up five times. So like I had over 15 sprays of this and I didn't get sick of it. But every room I walked into, every single time I was meeting somebody that day, they were like, before I was even three arms lengths away, they're like, damn, you smell good. So this thing was working, it's magic. Really, really nice, especially when it's cold. Number four, for the spicy lovers, 1899 Hemingway by Histoire de Parfums. Okay, this fragrance, that's pretty much what there is to it. It's spicy, there also is amber and some vanilla in this. And honestly, within the first couple seconds when you spray it in the air, it might smell a little bit like pickles. And I know that sounds a bit off-putting, but that shit dies down just as fast as like when you first initially smell it. You're not gonna be able to pick that smell up again, okay? For some reason, that's just what I get in the first two seconds of the fragrance. But this is definitely more on the unique side because not a lot of women are rocking this fragrance. And the reason for that is, one, it's a niche scent, and most people are wearing designer. And two, it's a niche that is not as popular as things like Baccarat Rouge, um, like the Anisio, Sershoffs, Parfums de Marly, 
rosia you know what i mean so this fragrance is great for candlelit dinners it's also nice if you're just trying to like i don't know cuddle by the fireplace like this is this is a good one this is a good one for the spicy lovers longevity on this i get around eight before like i don't smell it anymore you know what i mean so starts to die down around the sixth seventh hour for me but it's totally gone by the eighth hour okay number five oh, i love this i love this this is called intense cafe by montal and it's a sweet coffee rose petal fragrance that's literally what i smell think of a cup of hot sweet coffee and then get some fresh rose petals just throw that in the coffee and mix it together and you get intense cafe so this fragrance is slightly synthetic all right but the scent trail the projection the longevity 10 out of 10 with this fragrance this is probably one of the few fragrances in my collection where whenever i wear it and i hug somebody they always just grip me tighter and they're just doing deep sniffs in my neck when they're hugging me they just they can't stop like oh my god that smells so good I love that. What are you wearing? And I'm like, it's Intense Cafe by Montal. And they see the bottle, they're like, what? Because the bottle kind of looks very inexpensive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the juice for the coffee lovers, give this a shot. It's addicting. People around you, like your date that's going to smell you is going to be addicted to smelling you. All right. Okay. Let's go to the one for the boozy lovers. Side Effect by Anisio. Rum cinnamon and honestly a little bit of dried fruit is what i smell with this fragrance but to me it's a bit intense initially wearing it so i have to spray it on my clothes before <laughs> i throw on my clothes like at least 20 30 minutes because i can get a bit sensitive with this fragrance but this is a beast easily performs over 12 hours no doubt and this is just sexy sexy fragrance unforgettable scent i don't even want to get more into it than I have to with this scent. You've heard me talk about it over and over and over again. Side effect by Anisio. Now on this side, oof, come on now. Mon Guerlain EDP. This is a lavender vanilla scent. If you want to smell feminine, you want to smell regal, you want to smell classy, and you want it for a designer price, please, please, please give this fragrance a shot. This is the only scent that I never describe as sexy, besides like, you know, the bad ones. But the reason I never say this is sexy is because it's beautiful. This is like, think of those cheesy movies, like in the middle of the movie where the main girl is like, they're, everyone's at this ball or something and the main girl comes out of the stairs or something and everybody sees her and they're like, wow, she's so beautiful. Like that's, Mongrelon EDP. It's just oh, there's something about it. You're like, fuck, that's beautiful. That's just divine right there. First couple hours, amazing projection. You can smell it before you enter the room, but the lasting power around six to seven hours, okay? Ooh, the queen of Valentine's Day. Noir de Noir by Tom Ford. Dark chocolate, expensive dark chocolate is what it smells like roses and wine and like believe me the rose in this fragrance not funeral home okay it literally smells like fresh roses that i don't know like when your date brings them to you and you're like oh my god this is so cute like freshly bloomed roses but not like when you smell it up close and it smells like shit you know it's basically it smells really good this one smells really good <sighs> i was addicted to this fragrance the first time i got it i would not stop wearing it this is even a fantastic signature scent, but if you really wear this on Valentine's Day, your date will never forget. Okay, this, if there's any day of the year to wear this fragrance, it's Valentine's Day. Okay, this thing awakens on a whole nother level, but this is gorgeous, man. Like, oh God. Yeah, this is gonna, you're, this is romantic. It's sexy. It's everything that the title says, which was the two things that I just mentioned. But God, I love, love, love this fragrance for Valentine's Day. A couple more that I'm going to mention are, where'd it go? Oh, it's in the other room. Angel Share by Killian. Two Killians I'm going to mention. Angel Share, 
That one smells like boozy cinnamon rolls. Edible. It's just that scent that kind of makes your mouth water. Long lasting, great scent trail, great projection. The whole entire day you're gonna smell it on yourself. And it's just like, like let me take a bite of that. You know, it's just a sexy, like fuck, I want that type of fragrance. And Love Don't Be Shy by Killian as well. So Love Don't Be Shy is like, it opens up kind of smelling like Fruit Loops and then it dries down smelling like this sexy marshmallow. You know, so it's also, I wouldn't say it's a gourmand to be honest with you, but I call it an Aphrodite kind of fragrance where it's a head turner, but it's not like, oh my God, like, I, like it's not in like a super sexy way, but think of Cupid with the arrows when like he hits somebody and they're just like enamored you know, hypnotized. That's what Love Don't Be Shy by Killian reminds me of. It's romantic and it's just sweet and it's a head turner. Anyways, I hope this video helped. Let me know what you're going to rock on Valentine's Day or what you're going to get for your significant other. Have a great night. See you in the next video. Bye.